one lady said, well, if you come up with the pink salmon made from veggies to me, for me, then I could live on raw food. But this is the only thing I miss from the non-vegan, non-raw food. So my friend peeled um, uh, baby aloe vera and soaked it in carrot juice with dolls for three days. <laughs> it became pink, it became fishy. Dolls is a sea vegetables. And it had the same texture and it tasted just like pink salmon. <laughs> you just have to be creative. There are all kinds of textures in the raw world. So you could do anything. Unfortunately, the resistance to raw food has been created by raw fooders, not by other people who eat cooked food. Because we raw fooders, we're too pushy sometimes. We like to put pressure. We like to um, criticize people and advise them to go on raw food. How would you like if somebody will tell you what to do? If somebody say, hey, you need to go to a different church. Hey, you, 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 you're too skinny. You need to start jogging. Hey, you to something else. You need to do that and that. How do you feel? Can we name, name me four emotions? Insulted. Insulted, yeah. How else? Angry. Hurt. Hurt. One woman in, um, resentful, one woman in LA said, I just want to kill that person. <laughs> <coughs> so that's how we do. We just come from the raw food class to our household and say, hey, I'm a raw foodist here. Don't eat that crap in front of me anymore. <laughs> and then they begin to feel resentful and uh, hurt and... Um, um, just, you know, just don't, don't they feel like they're lower human beings, like they're treated not equally. So I think on the other hand, if we will be what raw fooders are, if we will be loving and hugging and smiling and joking and energized and healthy, raw fooders, that's, that's the way they are. And never arguing and always communicating, non-violently communicating. Who can say, no, I don't like it? Which husband will say, well, I don't want my, my wife being non-violent non communicating, I want back my violent wife, no? <laughs> which, which wife will say, hey, I want my husband to be, have red face and shaky hands again and headache every other day? No, we love when our loved ones are smiling and hugging and loving and not hurting, we like it. Who would say no to that? We just Let's just agree that we wouldn't insult other people. I heard many times this phrase, don't tell me you have headache. If you would listen to me a long time ago, you would never have headache. Have you heard this one? That is very insulting to say that. Or something, um, um, Something like, when people call other people's food junk food and garbage food, this is also insulting. Because if I'll tell you, hey, you have, an, uh, you have junk uh, clothes on you, it's insulting, right? If I say, hey, you have garbage piano in your house, that's insulting. I say, hey, your Mercedes is junk. <laughs> you, will, you will say, well, I'm insulted. I'm going to call you on a duel. <laughs> but why do we say that? Well, you're still eating that junk. Well, that's like acceptable. I think it's not acceptable, okay? So if we want to live in peace with the cooked world, we have to, first of all, be accepting. We shouldn't go into what's called um, um, codependency. When we're trying to change the world instead of, trying to, instead of changing ourselves, that's called codependency. You can change only one person in the world. No matter how hard you try, only one person in the world. Who is that? Yourself. yourself. But if you will concentrate on yourself, we can change the world. Do you agree? Yes. And you have unlimited power over one that person. So concentrate on yourself. Is there anything you can improve in your own self? Can you improve or are you already perfect? Can you work on yourself more? Everybody asking you, can you work on yourself? So do you have energy to continue? Okay, keep working. And let's not work in somebody else's uh, garden. Let's work in our own, okay? And then it's going to work. 
how to say no. That's a big one. Many people quit eating cooked food because they didn't know what to do. How many of you quit eating raw food because you didn't know how to say no to your loved ones? Raise your hands. Hi, hi, hi. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Imagine your mother has made you a pie. Imagine your ex-mother-in-law made you an apple pie. And she brought it to you and it looks really good. And she said, hey, Elaine, I want to give it to you. I made it specially for you. I went shopping, I bought the best organic ingredients and I made it specially for you because I remember how you loved it. Well, do you think saying no to her will uh, really hurt her feelings? What do you think? Okay. Most likely, it depends what how you say. So, let's make analysis. What is her goal? Is her goal actually your digestion, digesting of the cake? That the cake really actually gets into your system and you digest it and then you go to the bathroom. That's your goal? That's her goal? What's her goal? Her goal is to make you happy, right? Her goal actually is to show you that no matter what happened between you and somebody, she still loves you. Is there any way for you to acknowledge that without even eating the cake? How can we acknowledge that other person, uh, how can we acknowledge other person's love and attention? Um, lo let, let's try to say three sentences to that mother-in-law uh, that will acknowledge her effort. Can you come up with something? For example, mother, I'm so, I'm so moved. Try not to just say thank you. Try to explain, to describe your feelings, your emotions that you're going through when you see her giving you that cake. Emotions. Describe it to her so she pictures how you feel and she will feel happy. Say, I'm so moved when I think about you going and buying it, especially for me in an organic store. I'm so deeply touched. Uh, I, am, I, I see how you love me. Can I please give you a hug? <clears throat> Can you please create at least three sentences? Uh, let me ask several people. Can you come up with three sentences that you say to, the, to your mother-in-law who made you ex-mother-in-law, who made you apple pie that you used to love? Don't say that you're not going to eat it. Just give me three sentences because we'll continue after that. I really want to be honest and touching. I want you to say something that will touch your heart and she will feel that she didn't waste her time, that she really went, bro broke through and uh, you know the ice is broken and you really feel very help, um, thankful to her. So uh, what should you say? Can you please come up with three sentences, Any? Yes? I'm so glad that you still think of me even though I am not with your son. That's very touching. Thank you. Anybody else? Anybody else, please? See, that's the problem. <laughs> we only know one thing. We just take it and eat it. Does it guarantee that she will understand and believe you that you love her? No. So we need to learn how to speak how to speak out, what, how, you, how you feel. So I want you to practice to say, to acknowledge that we love what you, oh, your boss is giving, boss is giving you candy. You want to say that you appreciate his attention, okay? Somebody, your neighbor is bringing you something. You want to say, oh, really, I'm so, I'm so uh, thankful to you. I feel like I'm honored. I, I feel like I'm special. I feel like I'm loved. But I only, we only practice the first part. First part is acknowledgement. The second part is saying firmly no. And the third part is coming with alternative. But we only practice in the first part. Because that's how it's supposed to sound all together. Oh, mother, I'm so happy. I'm so moved. I'm so touched that you went to so much trouble just for me. Like I'm so important to you. You went to the store and you bought all these things. And you prepared this delicious, how do you call this? a beautiful cake and it looks so good um, it's it's wonderful I'm absolutely honored but I don't eat cooked food anymore how about I come earlier tonight home and you and I will get together in the kitchen and I'll bring ingredients and we'll make raw apple pie that I have recipe how about that